What an episode. I had a feeling it was gonna be a bomb of an episode, and it really was. I don't even know where to begin, to be honest. Let's just start with... I have been wanting to see all the different sides, all the women team up and work together since the beginning of this show, because for a season and a half now, we have seen women be kind of pulled apart and gone off and done their own thing against one another which considering everything like I can understand but it's still hard to see you know but seeing everything coming back together finally everyone regrouping Nancy and Emily and Charlotte and Margaret all of them working together makes me so happy I can't describe to you. They really are a beast when joining forces and I feel like the game has just begun in a sense so I'm really 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 excited to see what happens after this. I like that each one has feelers in a different place in the story. They might actually have a shot at bringing Lydia down although as we have seen she's got tricks up, up her sleeve <laughs> embedding the justice i did not see that coming but yeah she's 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 a powerful creature lydia quigley and i'm surprised that that justice just kind of went off with her instead of arresting her but i guess it just goes to show like just how high the corruption goes to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if he has something to do with the Spartans and all of those kidnappings and killings of the girls from season one. So, yeah, it looks like Justice Hunt is on his own, but at least he's got all the women kind of in his corner, sort of. Although he needs to step up, he's just pussyfooting around this whole thing too much like he just needs to crack the whip and just do something he's a bit useless like he he wants to do things the right way but like when you're up against corruption of that degree you have to do something so i don't know we'll see what happens there i'm a little surprised that both emily and amelia are willing to step forward and publicly speak up because like, okay, Am Amelia, she's she's a brave girl and she will do the right thing even if she gets into trouble herself. But Emily, we all know that she, she mainly cares about protecting herself, which I can't blame her for it because <laughs> we saw what they did to her. But yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that she's willing to come forward and speak against Lydia publicly. But I'm very, very glad that she's co that she's willing, and I'm glad that they're all kind of banded together. Cause yeah. Next thing, I am really disappointed and gutted that Cherry has decided to betray her house and Emily. Although Emily's been nothing but a dick to her, so kind of understand it. But still, I'm sad. I really liked her. I mean, I still really like her. She's such an awesome character, but it's just, oh no, she's joined Lydia. This is gonna be bad. And she's, she seems like a really clever cookie. Like, she's got more up her sleeve than people expect of her. So she's definitely going to be like a secret weapon, I think. I'm super happy that William North has gone home. I really like him and Margaret together. I think they're such a sweet couple when they're not fighting. And I really hope that Harriet doesn't actually come between them. Like she just, she needs to move on. I hope she has, but I have a feeling she hasn't. Like she's still, she's like, she, you can just tell, like she, he's on her mind and she just needs to let go and move on. Cause he's got his own family. Like don't, don't mess with that but he was actually quite strong in his own word to Margaret. Even though he did abandon her for a while, it seems that he would remain faithful to her. I hope he does. 
for the rest of the series. Yeah, I just I really like William and Margaret as a couple. I just really do. And Lucy and Lord Fallon. Oh my god. I am very scared for Lucy's sake. He called her a freaking hostage. Like, how dare you? But I think Lucy, I don't know, I, I have mixed feelings about Lucy. Like, on the one hand, she's displaying strength and cunning in her own way. Like, she's learning to play the game for sure. But at the same time, she's still a baby, I feel. Like, there is a certain vulnerability to her. I can see why Margaret would be overprotective of her. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I have very mixed feelings. And I think things are going to get quite messy there with Lord Fallon and her. One of the things that I'm thinking might happen is that she might actually fall in love with him. Because he's kind of like her first keeper. And spending that much time with, with him, she might actually get attached and he will... I think he will get attached to her as well, but I think the relationship is going to turn toxic. I, I honestly think that. I think that it's going to turn toxic and it's just going to get messy and she's going to be torn between her love and her mother and sister and, and all of her family when she finds out what he is involved in and he's just going to use her so bad that's honestly what i'm scared of and i think that's i think that's what's going to happen Whew. and lastly my ship my ship my beautiful ship lady isabella and charlotte you can't tell me there is nothing there there is something there there is something there and something is going to happen and I just hope it ends well because it could very well end very 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 badly I'm kind of glad about how this episode went even though they didn't necessarily end on such good terms th these two, uh, Lady Isabella and Charlotte the reason I'm glad is because I think Lady Isabella finally got to see what it's actually like for Charlotte with her own eyes so she doesn't have to be like oh you slutty whore you can't be trusted like she got to see just what exactly she has to put up with and what Charlotte actually has to do for a job and, and just how hard it can be sometimes and as a result I think she does have more compassion for her and can forgive her for having something to do with her brother even though Charlotte promised she wouldn't and there was definite angst there like there was definite angst there was definite jealousy just saying my ship is rising i think lady isabella wants her and she wants her bad i can't help but wonder though how does charlotte feel about her though because i feel like tables have switched a little bit in the previous episode, Charlotte was like kind of coming to her and saying, let's be allies. And Lady Isabella was holding her at arm's distance. Um, whereas now, like you saw Charlotte storming off and Lady Isabella being all like, no, wait, wait, take me with you. I want to go with you. <clears throat> Angst. So I think, I think it's pretty clear that Lady Isabella is quite, well I don't want to say desperate, but like she's holding on, she's clinging and Charlotte, like she's just, oh she's so sick of the game and she just has to keep playing because what else is she gonna do? But yeah, I do wonder like, she was portrayed to be quite intrigued by Lady Isabella, I wonder if she still is. I think she still is deep down, she's just kind of getting sick of everything, you can't blame her. I hope something happens with the two of them because I think I think they'd be good for each other I really do like can you imagine if Charlotte actually got her as her keeper oh her life would be sweet her life would be sweet so good so all they have to do is just kill the brother and everything will be fine yeah so I think they should do that I actually think that might happen by the end of the season the Marquess, I think he might be. Maybe. 
I don't know, maybe it's just wishful thinking. I have no idea what's going to happen. And I just have to say one last thing. I am pretty surprised that The Secret came out this soon because I honestly thought they were going to te keep teasing it out for the rest of the season. The big secret. What is the big secret that Lady Isabella has or that Lydia Quigley has on her? The bastard, the love child. I wonder if it is Childs though. I don't know. I was going to say maybe he is like, he is Lady Isabella's and her brother's love child but i i don't know but yeah i'm surprised that the secret has come out already because i i did think that they were going to tease it out until the end of the season probably or like towards the end or something however that still doesn't explain what lady isabella herself knows because she said that what she knows if she spoke her truth that london would tumble into dust so I'm really curious to find out what that is. But I bet that secret is going to get teased out until the end of the season. Anyways, okay, that's my review or recap or review, whatever, for this episode. And now we have to wait a whole week for another episode. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Give me more angst.